And then what I can do is just to add a little nice effect here. Slightly raised roof. That looks, should look pretty nice. And I think for good measure, oh, I don't really, wow, I'm so lacking in resources. I've got to go, I've got to go scrounging for more resources. But I think what I'm going to do, oh yeah, you can't place that. I can do that, that, that. It's a little derpy, but it's a little kind of that. Hello. Let's see how does that look? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Inside looks great. <laughs> oh wow! Look at that. Oh, that's kind of foreboding, isn't it? I like that kind of dark effect there. Huh. So I've got a little bit more headroom. I don't feel quite so claustrophobic. This lighting is a little bit funny, but it'll work. So, so there we go. We'll just go ahead and go with that. I think that'll look very nice. Until I get tired of it. I want to do something more sophisticated. You know, I never did give myself windows so that I could see outside. That would have been useful. Do I have a lot of wind? I have a little glass. Let's see, there's no point in putting any windows over there. I could put some here, though. I should probably also use panes of glass rather than... Yeah, 16. That's plenty. Yeah, that's a nice, and that's a pretty nice view, isn't it? It's a beautiful view. So over here, I can peer over the flowers. <laughs> and actually, it would be kind of nice if I had a window right here, but I think that's not going to work too well, so I'll just leave it alone. And then over here, Put a window here. Uh-oh. I think that's not going to work. Yeah, unless I do this. Maybe. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I'm not so sure about this one. <clears throat> Can I do this? Yeah. Uh, huh. I don't know if I like that. I think I might have to actually give it a corner. Something I've resisted, but the the corner is broken a little bit better with this kind of window thing going on. I, I kind of like that. I don't like corners much, but I think I like that corner. It's one of the one of the little things I was trying to do with this house is void. Avoid corners, you know, by chopping them down like that. Okay, so now I have pretty decent view that way, pretty decent view this way, no view that way. Over here, the uh, the beautiful mountain view. Look at that mountain out in the background. That man, that's just that's just so nice. And it's getting dark. Alright, next thing I gotta do, guys, I have to go hunting for resources. And I think the way that I wanted to hunt for resources at this point, I, you know, obviously I gotta go underground for that. But I think I wanna go on sort of a, you know, dual exploration. <laughs> Hello, pig in a tree. <laughs> uh, a dual exploration slash, uh. Well, that's kinda cool, isn't it? 
Man, I should have put windows in here much earlier. <laughs> okay, put that up. Yeah, kind of a dual exploration slash um, underground thing. I think that's what we need to do. Because <clears throat> I'm critically low on iron. I, I still don't really have much by way of diamonds. Uh, I'm just in a bad way. You know, I say all this, <laughs> but there's a part of me that's also wanting to kind of go underground <laughs> and figure out where all those moaning sounds are coming from. You know, the ones I keep talking about. Uh, yeah, let's go down here. I need to clean up my inventory tad. Uh, that, 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 and that, and that. Is there a place for... No, I don't. Well, I do now. Awesome. Now, I have found it advantageous to take a lot of wood with me when I go on these trips. Because that's the one thing... Wood is the one thing that I wind up running out of that I need when I go underground for extended periods of time. Goodness me, only one torch. Oh my goodness. That's something I need to address as well. It's my critical lack of torches. Um, caused by not having enough coal. Another resource I need. Man, this is just awful. Okay. Hmm. All right, I, I know this sounds kind of weird, but I'm going to chop down some more of these trees and I'm going to make charcoal and I'm going to use the charcoal to, um, I'm going to use my char this charcoal to help me build torches. So, uh, but again, I'm not going to subject you to that. I'm going to do that on my <clears throat> Hmm. I had an unanticipated guest. <clears throat> Those guys... Those guys are pretty nasty when they get hit, and I don't really feel like dealing with him. I really don't, because in the past, even when I had this much armor on, he, these guys have managed to really, really kill me pretty thoroughly. They happen occasionally when, uh, oh yeah, they happen occasionally. It's a consequence of having one of these guys. <laughs> sometimes, uh, sometimes they sneak through and create a bit of a mess for you. Oh, wait. God, I need to, um, replant. There we go. So, anyway, uh, yes, I managed to get several more torches. Plenty enough for a little underground excavation. If I can encourage him to just sort of go away. Or fall. Uh, and also, I thought I would uh, make this a tad safer. Or at least make it so I can get to the trees a little more directly. Because it was kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, having to go around this thing all the time. Who knows, maybe I'll seal the entire thing eventually. Alright. But, for now... God, those guys don't know how to open doors. <laughs> At least I don't think they do. Let's see, I have... This thing is aging and dying. I want to keep that. Bucket's useful. This other stuff, I don't have much of it, but I have... I have a good beginning. Yeah, I think... I think I have a good beginning. So now, look at that. He's over there now. Hmm. Oh, let's get some sleep. There are mo oh, you, you have to be kidding me. He's not hostile. He's not a monster. He's just annoying. Ugh. Well, that's new. <laughs> I didn't realize those guys could keep you from sleeping. 